hello um i'm gonna have a go describing what i'm doing here in case that's interesting i quite enjoy doing the drawings so it's quite nice looking back at them sometimes and think what i could have done better um so i like to choose a nice color of paper because part of it just stops it being a blank white sheet of paper that you've just got to be inspired by and the colour, this nice card anyway this is, I really like using it so I thought well this is mostly an orange picture so I thought well I'll choose this kind of brownish dirt, sandstone-y sort of coloured card and then see how we get on. Um, so I, I basically decided the diagonal bit of sky and thought well I'll do dark bit against the light bit first to try and add that contrast and so uh, mainly trying to sort of show the bold sh general shapes of the mountainside it's a ravine there's got two eagle pilots who are flying through a ravine the, the canyon racing guys and um they're going to be flying through this canyon so I want it to be quite dramatic the contrast between the darkness of the blackness of space and this sort of yellowed dusty surface of the canyon that they might smash against and destroy their little fragile vessels so I'm doing some sort of light light bits so sort of what's the word negative space so I'm colouring in the bits that are light onto the the dark the slightly darker shade of the cardboard and I'm so dirty by this point covered in muck that I can actually define the, the dark bits by just rubbing on the cardboard with my fingertips this is the darkest lowest part of the ravine so this is one of the spaceships I started to plan out at this stage sort of like mocking up the basic shapes and you see I started out with that sort of pucy purpley colour because it was a bit darker and it gave me a, a, a general shape that sort of diagonal flat planes of the top and bottom of the ship moving through the canyon and now I'm starting to put in more detailed bits so with the light bits and then putting in the dark bits and starting to be more clear and detailed as time goes on this is sped up quite fast so this did actually I faffed around quite a lot with this, but uh, you know, it's not actually that long a job to be honest with chalk, it's quite good like that. This is one of the main engine vents, this where the, the whiteness of the flames coming out, so I'm starting to try and show that. And this the darkness around the engine vents is kind of deceptive because it's not dark, it still looks white when you look at the picture, but actually it's not as white as the sheer, the blinding light of the, the fire coming out of the jets, so it's sort of like difficult to do it, so I'm doing this, I've got this nice um, sort of like cream colour that I use a lot, it's sort of like a, a yellowish kind of blondy colour. Oh, I quite like doing that. So you put a colour on and then you can use a, a, the stub or the end of a pencil or something to just drag off the chalk and it's a lot tidier than trying to do it with chalk. Makes it less messy. Even with the chalk pencils, they still you still can't get a particularly sharp... I say that when I'm doing it. That's only because I'm barely touching the paper with that. So this is sort of like... This is not the right purple, unfortunately. I was hoping it would be but I need a, a kind of a redder purple. I ended up using like a pinkish colour in the end. Uh, not that one, a slightly darker one, but this is this is like a kind of a, a mauve colour that I've got. So I'm starting to sort of define the, the, the contrast behind. So, so this is the back of the ship, and I'm trying to show that it goes up rather than across or down. Sorry, in the background, my children are playing with a taxi horn that they have found using a mechanical grabber on the top of a cabinet, which have been put as high as possible to keep it out of their reach. Nothing is out of their reach anymore. Um, right, so we're doing underneath the ship, and this is a sort of... Um, problem with this is that I'm trying to make it look light, because it was light, but I'm also trying to make it look far away. So the idea is that probably I ought to blur it, but it doesn't look like blurred in the original screenshot. Got the 
the graveliness, which is so tempting to use the graveliness of the chalk to affect the gravel of the the surface of the the planet but also it's kind of a cheat and i kind of feel guilty when i do it because although you can like do that mountainside effect with just just randomly scuffing chalk over it it's kind of difficult to sort of put it in a particular place oh yeah this is one of the struts on the top it looks like a ship kit i can't even remember how it's supposed to look on an eagle these days i've not written one for ages let me see this is light shining and it gets progressively lighter as you get towards that left-hand side of the ship. I'm messing around with this for ages, actually. That's all good, though. It doesn't matter too much. So, I mean, it, it is kind of tedious for anyone watching at this stage. So this is the attempt to make the background underneath the ship look further away. Who knows? It may not have been that far away. Um, yeah, so I'm going to, at some stage, start... Oh yeah, this is the end of the ship. I shall faff around with rage, start doing loads of it because there's the the detail of the the actual like kind of like metallic structure at the edge of the wingtips. It's sort of uh, I end up doing lots of dark in the night, the dark in the night, and then not being quite satisfied. So this is like flat panel of grey, and then I got to do one side of it light, and then one side of it dark. Uh, it's, it's not possible to do it very well. I, I think I managed to get it a little bit more effective in the end but it's you know it's never it never looked quite right it doesn't matter i quite like the uh i quite like the general scuffiness of it anyway i get a bit of dark time I, it's darker than it is in the screenshot as well which is the awful thing uh because i just i just needed it to make the contrast a bit a bit more showy uppy because otherwise it just oh gosh it wouldn't look shouldn't it? oh dear Stay at that. Never mind. It doesn't matter. I want to blow it. Isn't that weird? You're looking at some picture. I've done this picture and I'm watching this video I've done and I just want to blow it because I've left it on there and now I'm just thinking, oh no, rub that out, rub that out, you know what I'm Anyway, so it doesn't matter. This is a little highlight on the top and I think I lost that in the end because I've just put fingers on it too much and I actually should have remained on. Never mind. It's a little kind of like slat area that recessed into the surface of the wingtip there's all sorts of bits and bobs on this now. i spent ages messing around with them but that's part of the fun actually trying to make them show up and and i don't think actually technically where they are because i'm sure they're all in the wrong spot like i'm fairly certain that they aren't taking up that much of the actual wing of the eagle but it, I, I i don't mind because i don't think i could have done them any smaller anyway but just to show up they had to be a little bit bigger. So this is the top of the wing and I'm trying to just show up the details here and there. So here we are, we're starting to um, starting to do the, the other eagle. This is Sanderling's eagle, I believe, the eagle in red. And don't have a really vibrant in your face red that seems to stick to the card. My reds are all really hard. I've been wondering whether I might put them in the oven. I don't know whether that would work. Normally that makes stuff harder, sort of vitrifies it. Whatever. Mm -hmm family oven's not going to vitrify something but you know it might 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 solidify it further but i was wondering how to make it softer anyway so um yeah all my reds are really kind of rubbish i might actually have to spend money and on a decent chalk this just is making barely any mark i think what i ended up doing was just licking it <laughs> yeah you could tell this is wet oh dear never mind who cares? No one's getting this. Oh, no, they are. I've sent it in the post already. Oh, dear, no. Someone's getting my lick through the post. My potentially infectious lick. Ew. Well, it'll have been in the post for three days, so hopefully any form of disease I'm carrying will have hopefully dried up and died. Anyway, moral of the story is don't lick chalk. Um, yeah, so I'm using pink because it, it makes it the red look lighter in the, in the th in ideally. And... Yeah, just trying to trying to make those engines look a little bit more in your face. Look, there you go. Make them stand out a bit more. Stand out. There you go. A bit more engine. Use a bit of cardboard. Sorry about that, because like the camera's auto focus, and tend to use bits of card as a mask the whole time if I can because it just uh, protects the car protects the um, the paper underneath your hand as well because my hand 
back of my palm is just always completely covered in chalk anyway but it sort of protects the smudginess look at that mountain on the left hand side that's all smudged out of all recognition now anyway oh yeah put some of them on nice little stars now I'm starting to go oh, yeah my, my some of my chalks are really soft and nice but also they're basically powder just to be honest the better quality chalks they tend to be more foliar party because they've got less sort of resin or whatever they put in to make chalks stick together so these are amazing chalks lovely chalks really old ones actually i think but they fall apart got them from my granny i think oh no maybe i got them from my driving instructor yeah god i've had them like that means i've had them a very long time anyway so yeah started to put some dark on here just to make that that because if you think about it, the star is going to be ahead of that ship so it, all of this part of the back needs to be darker anyway and i, I decided that that part of the this needs to be in the it's not the eagle in the sky needs to be darker than the sky because it's throwing off light anyway so i'm trying to make it look darker at this stage by doing the mountain lighter oh look i'm fixing that mountain i put my great sporgy hand on there you go with bramble scratches and whatnot right here we go getting that colour on now on the mountains. There's not actually tons of colour in these mountains because the planets have only got a certain amount of number of colours in. Here we go. So anyway, so I'm just trying to make that darks and lights darker and lighter. Try and give it a bit more punch again. So it's, I'm not entirely sure that that's... You, these are, on the picture, you have got rays from the sun, but they don't look quite so intense as I've got them. I'm, I should really smudge... Oh, I am smudging them. I've forgotten I've done that. Yeah, they're not too in your face then, but the star needs to be brighter without being too white. I don't want it to be just a single colour because it's obviously boiling gas, so it can't be one just one colour. Anyway, so I put a bit of colour in and then use a bit of uh, compressed paper to uh, tweak at it. So now, gone back to this, trying to try and do... I'm a bit of a butterfly, I think, probably, because you get bored of a bit and you do the another bit and then you look at it and you think, well, I've got that colour in, so I'll finish off that bit. I don't know that I actually ended up really finishing this, but it's a bit late to worry about now. I'm trying to make that earth look knobbly. It's got lots of pebbly, rocky, graveliness going on there, but I don't know whether I actually did that either. It doesn't really matter. Oh, look, I did. A bit of it to try and try and show that sort of like slightly pebble dashed effect again butterflying over to the other side of the picture to try and well it's fine look make it look like it's definitely going away from you this uh, canyon needed to be a lot darker than it ended up i think in the picture the whole picture's darker but uh, i just can't make my pictures look quite that kind of screenshot density there you go. I think I'm probably at this stage giving up on it. I think if I'm putting the stars on, that normally means that I, I'm just sacking it off. <laughs> I am, I think. Not to worry. Oh, look, a little bit of light on the side of the, the canyons facing that star. But yeah, there goes Sanderling in his eagle, pottering away, sw swiveling and reversing upon himself with his flight assist off. Not hitting too many canyon walls, although I believe they do quite often just hit the canyon walls. I think that might be part of the fun. I think that's probably why they do it. Just because they end up smashing and hitting and explode exploding. It does sound fun. I'm not certain that I am quite confident enough to use my flight as if off. I do it a bit, but I, I honestly, unless I'm actually in a big field of space and I just need to swivel around quickly, I'm, I'm a, yeah, I'm not. I'm not doing it near a planet, ideally. They reckon you should just to get get good at it. <laughs> get good. But maybe I just don't want to. I'll have a go sometime. It does look fun. And also makes for great screenshots. Don't know how they could be doing this and then also taking a screenshot at the same time. That just beggars belief, the fact that there they are doing this with no flight assist. And so close to such pointy, sharp rocks. And then, like, oh, hang on a second. I'll just walk in the back and get my camera out. Yeah. Because I got a photo off both of them. 
one with Sandling's ship in it, one with the other ship, the mystery commander who has not been named. And then uh, they both, uh, I combined the two photos actually. Well, I, I combined them actually. I combined them because, yeah, it, it, it looks like it's pretty much impossible taking photographs in this environment. Look, I'm trying to put some little, little flames. Oh dear, <laughs> never mind. Oh well, it's not the end of the world. I think they look all right. It's a bit, it's quite fun. It's not, yeah, it's not such a biggie. 